Hey and welcome to Just The Tip, mini tutorials for After Effects when you just need to know one thing. Looping footage in AE is really easy if the footage itself contains a loop. Here's an old piece of stock footage and it's been rendered out with a fade in it, so it can be looped seamlessly. To loop it, right click on the footage in the project panel, choose interpret, main, and set a loop number at the bottom. Dead easy. But what if you have a piece of footage that isn't preset to loop? Here's an old bit of stock footage I have, real smoke and a black background. But it's got a sting for art beats on the end, so I want to loop it and not have the sting. So there's the basic way, and then there's the ultimate way. Here's the basic first. I'll right click on the footage and choose pre-comp. And then in the pre-comp, I'll move the current time indicator to the last usable frame, and then click on the time code, control C to copy it, and then go to Composition, Composition Settings, and paste the copied timecode into the duration. Click OK, and go back to the main comp. And then go to Layer, Time, Enable Time Remapping. And now, Alt click on the Time Remap Stopwatch, and in the Expressions area, type Loop Out Brackets. And then drag the pre-comp length to the end of the comp. That loop out expression will cycle through the two time remap keyframes continuously. Now, there's still a jump, but I can solve that by going into the precomp. I'll set an opacity keyframe for about one second in, and then set another at the beginning of the comp to 0%, so that the layer fades up. And then, if I move back to one second and tap the asterisk key on the keypad, I can set a layer marker and then I'll move to the end of the comp and set another marker. Now I'll duplicate the layer, which is Edit Duplicate, and selecting and dragging the first layer while holding the Shift key, the layer will jump to have the marker at the zero second mark. Now drag the second layer until the two markers line up at the end. And we'll have to repeat our copy timecode trick. and we'll have to turn time remapping off and then turn it back on and make sure that the loop out expression is there. But we now have a seamless loop. And that's the basic way to loop footage. Here's a slightly more advanced way. Same setup as before, a piece of footage in a pre-comp. And let's enable time remapping but this time paste the expression from the description below. And what this expression does is identify the length of the time remap comp and then repeat the loop with a delay. Which is fine as far as it goes, but I can make it better by pasting in this expression into the opacity. And now the layer fades up at the beginning and fades out at the end of the loop. Now let's duplicate the precomp, hit U to make sure we can see all the keyframes, and line up the second precomp to start fading in, just as the first starts to fade out. And that's the tip, or tips. Everything is included in the project file. Honestly, the basic method is probably easier to get your head around, but the expression was a fun challenge to create. And of course, the expression loop is less effort if you're setting up lots of loops. Until next time, happy compositing.